Right, hello everyone and welcome back to the Cursed Forest. I assume you liked part one. If you did, thank you very much for showing your support, alright? So here we go, part two, section two. And we've got a few more bones to find, it looks like. And I guess a few more save points if I want to avoid all the crashing problems. Fingers crossed, touch wood, all of those, you know, weird old wives' tales. And maybe it won't happen, who knows? Right. Wait. Hello. Yeah. So, what? Just committed suicide? No. Cliff diving? <laughs> Fucking hell, alright. Whoa. Okay, maybe that was just like a venture to save yourself, because you know this is going to fucking fall down and collapse and kill me, right? Right. Yeah, well, I probably do want to follow this thing. It seems to be leading me through the forest in some weird, bizarre way. Not really sure why. Can I? Can I do the same thing? I kind of want to do the same thing. Oh! Sh <gasps> you <son of> bitch <laughs> game! Oh, look at me bobbing up and down. I'm not even jumping. That's crazy. <laughs> so, that last little bit of the diving board just fell away. That was good. That's good. Yeah, I like that sort of stuff. Alright, so, uh, let's see. There's one of the altars, one of the save points. Let's use this one. Right, so... This area, I take it, was probably not on the map. I don't remember anything that looks a bit like this. What the... Oh boy, there's a danger of sinking, is there? Was it quicksand, or just deep water, or what? So I think I've just proven I can sort of swim. I'm just paying very, very close attention to the ground. Is this a... Oh, it could be like a marsh or a swamp or something. Right. Yeah. Let's stay on the dry bits, if possible. Alright. Ah, there it is. Just maybe sidle around this thing and quietly creep up over this way. Yep. You're not going to see me? No? Okay. Cool. Cool. Yep. Right. Up there. Fuck. Shit. I don't think that was me. I think that was it. Diving in. Fuck. Climb. Climb. Uh, okay. Is that like a geyser or something? I don't know. Let's see. Not ideal. So was that a, was that a death or something? I actually have no idea. <gasps> what? What the hell? How's it hanging? Ha! <laughs> well, we're still in the same sort of area. Oh, that's where the scarecrow went off to. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, that was meant to happen. That wasn't the death. That's another bone, isn't it? Jeez, alright. Weird. It was like it could have killed me. It could have killed me several times now, but it didn't. Alright, we got a leg. Great. Okay, just one more piece to find. Uh, maybe it's another leg. So what we got here? Oh, the scarecrow. Oh yeah, tell me more. I've lived here all my life, playing in the fields under the watchful eye of the scarecrows. My neighbour, an old man whose name I do not recall, used to spend a lot of time in his garden. He was a settler with a violent skin condition that meant most of his life was spent alone and away from the comfort of others. As he sowed his small plot of land, he spoke in hushed tones to his, scare to his scarecrow. And I began to notice that the other villagers purposefully looked away when he did this. 
One day, passing the old man conversing with the straw one, I like that, the straw one, I grew suddenly bold. Do you believe the scarecrow will speak back? I asked. It's not wise to say such things, little girl. A scarecrow cannot talk, he smiled darkly. However, the same cannot be said of what is living inside it. It grows stronger every day, and as it waits, it watches. Nothing can stop it. I suggest that you don't try to stand in its way. His face grew suddenly ashen, and he spoke again to the scarecrow. No, I didn't. She's harmless. She won't tell anyone, will you? He grew more and more frantic, his hands reaching out to grab me, to beg me to keep a secret that I didn't understand. I ran. The next day, the old man was found dead. His garden quickly started to rot, as though the land had been poisoned. Soon, after I contracted a dreadful fever, as I lay awake, tossing and turning, I looked out of my window and saw the scarecrow pressed up against the glass. I hid under the covers and eventually fell into a restless sleep. When I woke up, he was gone. But from that point on, I have always felt his eyes watching me from the fields. He helps me follow everyone. Mr. Strawhead is a very good friend. Well, Mr. Strawhead is a little bit tied up at the moment. There you go. Right. So... Let's just sort of head back and try not to get assaulted again. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm going to leave Mr. Strawhead up there, if possible. It's probably for the best. He does just keep on disappearing and reappearing otherwise. Uh, right, yeah. Yeah, stay out of the water. If you can, I think. Okay, yeah. Just hop across, yeah. I've got this, I think. Yeah, it's that fucking angry fish again. <laughs> yeah, keep to the boards, I think. Wait. That was the tree. That was the tree when I saw that thing. And well, I never really got the chance to go up here, so maybe now I can do that. Hmm. Now nah, let's do it. Let's do it. He's my strange guide. The strange cliff jumping guide. Okay, well, there is something at the top of this. There's barrels, at least. Right. I thought we were going to have some sort of Indiana Jones scenario then with a barrel instead of a boulder. Okay, well, is just a shortcut back? Oh, fair enough. Well, it, you know, it's probably better than going through the marshes again, right? So, yeah, there you go. Uh, okay. So, let's see. There's just, uh, yeah, just one more to find in this section, it looks like. I guess somewhere down there? Alright, nope. Oh. Hmm. A dark mist. Let's go and have a look. If we can. The bridge isn't completely destroyed. Yeah, maybe this isn't such a good idea. <laughs> well, let's see. Maybe I can just go through with limited visibility. <coughs> or maybe not. No, okay, that's that's fine. Right, I've, uh, I'll come back later, maybe? Okay, so... It's not over there. It's a I think it's a drawing of the woman that keeps, like, assaulting me. And I think it is a woman. It's got, like, a fairly slender frame. Oh, shit! I must be blind as a bat. I didn't see him. Right. Uh, yeah. Let's avoid her. <laughs> Hmm. Where did you actually go? Did you run around here, or did you run, like, through there or something? Oh, damn. Yeah, there you go. I think just following the deer is a good bet if you want to find more stuff. <laughs> Hunter's still trying. Today was the largest failure in all my years of hunting. 
The deer was right in front of me, only a few meters away, and I missed. I've never missed at such a close distance before. The deer didn't even react to my shot. I shot a second time and missed again. I swear the bullet went right through him. But that couldn't have happened. I must have missed. He walked away calmly, as though mocking me. I will not miss again, and the next time I see him, he's mine. I'm afraid to say you're going to continue to fail, mate. Nothing down there? No? Okay. Again? Curiosity's probably going to kill the cat. Where does this go? <laughs> A nice vantage point, I suppose, if nothing else. Uh, yeah, I guess. Let's just fall down. There you go. Okay, so, yeah, where was I? <laughs> Going across here, of course. I've got to wonder if I'd like this game quite so much if it was on another engine, if it didn't look quite this good. And I'm not entirely sure. I think the graphics are really helping it out a great deal. Hopefully there's a little bit more sort of depth to this. Always a little bit worrying when it saves automatically, <laughs> especially considering there's so many save points around here. Oh, there you go. There is a note on the bench over here. About Yan, right. This is the guy that was looking for the cave, right? I think so, anyway. Our leader asked me not to touch him. He said that making him disappear would evoke unwanted attention. But all Yan has brought to our settlement so far is trouble. I remember when he first came to us. He used to make trips into the city, which wasn't normal to any of us. Our settlers don't need people like him, but out of kindness, we gave him a chance. I tried to invite him to my house for a supper cooked by my wife. I thought that meeting him eye to eye, we would get to know him better. And with an acquaintance, he would become better accustomed to our lifestyle. He refused my invitation. Then I invited him hunting. Even this he criticised, telling stupid stories about his past and how he had decided never to take the life of an animal for sport. My dislike for him grows by the day. I wasn't fooled for a moment by his innocent facade. Yan came to us pretending to be a saint, but everyone has their sins. Soon he will learn that the past never truly stays in the past. When we are together, he attempts to turn the conversation towards our leader, trying to steal information out of me about his family. It unnerves me. He may be untouchable for the moment, but that will very quickly change once we have completed the ritual. Then the sinners will get what they deserve. The same ritual that I might be enacting? I think so. Yeah, maybe I'm just going to have to finish his dirty work, so to speak. Alright, go on. Who was living out here, then? <sighs> okay, well, I'm not alone. Someone in there? Well, there's a note. The shadow looks a little bit bigger than a note, though. Weird texture. Anyway, what's this? Uh, runestone, right? Yeah, runestones, why not? I, I can't believe my luck. I found the runestone! It's the very last element needed for the ritual, and, as a reward, our glorious leader thanked me personally and made me its keeper. In his wisdom and kindness, he also gave me a small house near the lake, which is much more pleasant than my previous home. Soon we will wash this land of sin. While the weak world seek redemption in death, and the promise of a different perfect world, we are fighting to make our earthly realm that haven. With our help, the people here will become perfect specimens of humanity, unspoiled entities cleansed of depravity. The sea takes a shard of jagged glass and washes it smooth. So too shall we shape the world into one of our own creation, and I will be among the chosen forging the way. Change is coming, and I shall be the one of it, the leading architects of the future. Right. I've got big old plans. Right. Yeah, okay. So, this runestone. <laughs> Is that it? Is that the runestone? Kind of looks like it could be. Okay, oh, and that's that last slot. I think all the windows just sort of slammed. Oh, well, all but one. Got a padlock here. Right, maybe let's try looking upstairs. Something in the loft? 
Ah, shit. Okay. Something. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hey. No. No. <laughs> no es bueno. Uh, shut the door. All right. Let's not. Right. Is there like a key or something around here to unlock this padlock so I can get out? Oh boy, yeah. What long tendrils you have. I, oh, oh! I got it, I got it. I, I, that's it, isn't it? Yes, come on. Go, go. Right, yep. I don't know how to use the inventory, come on. Right, are we safe? What was that thing? Oh! <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> nice little sort of jump scare for people that are curious. Can we go back in? No, I don't think so. Another save point over there, right. Maybe I should go for a dip. So hang on. Right, so there's just the one rune stone, it looks like, so we found that. It's just the one more bone for the body. Let's go in. <laughs> no sound effect for that, that was weird. Yeah, a little bit of swoo, a little bit of swimming never hurt anyone. There you go, right. Great. Is there a point to this or not? <laughs> Looks like we can't go that way because it's kind of blocked off. Maybe down there? I can't really walk on the edge of this, though. Well, maybe I can. Just about. Yeah. Alright, well, this looks kind of promising. I mean, I haven't run into any invisible barriers, so... Ah, oh, it's nice and shallow over here, so that's not too bad. Right, yeah. Oh, God. At it again, are ya? Right. I... Oh. You know what? I'll let you have that one. I don't think I'm going to copy you this time. Well, <laughs> Huh. Alright. Still haven't figured out if this thing's trying to kill me or not. Wait, do we climb up there? Oh, I think it's a bit too slippy, so I guess not. Okay. Getting a little bit deeper again, unfortunately. Nope, nope. <laughs> I'm sure there is a threat in this game, but there's probably a lot of sort of false positives that are thrown up. A lot like that, but they're still, you know, they're keeping me on edge. Just like that is. Hey. How long can you hold your breath? You <laughs> I guess you want to find out. Yeah. Shit, no, <laughs> these rocks are so slippy. Right. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. No, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I keep following this thing against my better judgement, so... Why not, right? Nice little sort of campfire over here. Right, well, maybe these... Oh, the deer? Or oh, maybe these guys have a bone. <laughs> That's not Mr. Strawhead, is it? The Scarecrow. I thought you were tied up on the tree. Look at... <laughs> He's got a fucking sausage as well. Can I have that? No? <laughs> right, let's see. There's got to be something around here, right? That looks like another save point, at the very least. Where'd that deer run off to? Well, let's go up and save. And maybe read as well. Alright. Uh, okay, a tourist note. Uh, how many pages are we dealing with? Oh. Oh. Oh! Five? Okay, well, you know what? This one I might just read a little bit later on.
<laughs> Why did we come here? Right, yeah. Why did I take that shortcut? Yeah, I'll catch up with that later and read it in greater detail a little bit later on. Oh, okay. I just wanted to save. That was all. You're looking at me. It's just every time. Every time I'm just a little bit away from him. He changes. He moves. He's an odd one. <laughs> I was half expecting him to be gone when I turned the corner. Right. Is that a machete or a knife or something? Oh, shit! No, no. Take it. Can we give it another try? I know it's really deeply embedded, but come on. No? Uh, that was worth a shot, wasn't it? Ah, oh, you dropped your sausage. Right. <laughs> Follow the deer. This is a weird game. It's going to be a weird playthrough too. Hope you're enjoying it though. Hopefully I'm not doing this in vain. Come on, you can do it. Right, another drawing of this spirit that I'm following. Hmm. Seems a little bit more mild-mannered this time. Maybe this is how I get her good side? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That fucking Indiana Jones situation. I just hide here. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, okay. That was actually pretty cool, as far as, like, level design goes. I mean, the chalk drawing forces you to acknowledge that area, and then, of course, you need to use it. Or it seems like you need to use it, so... Yeah, that was kind of cool, actually. Still, weird game. <laughs> weird coincidence, though. Right, up here, a bone, maybe? Or... I don't know. What's that? Oh, boy. Okay, hang on. We've got some white supremacists up here or something, I don't know. Everyone worship the fist. Somewhere else to say, might as well use it. Nothing around here, nothing to read, no? That's what this game's good for, really, is just reading a lot. Kind of surprised. What is it with rickety bridges, man? Right, maybe something over here. And then again. <laughs> maybe not. No, alright. I assume the deer didn't jump off the cliff, so... Let's go this way. Hmm. <laughs> Don't like that sound. There we go. Alright, what is that? I, I have to know. Oh, hey. Okay, hang on. What's this? Alright, yep. Just look for glowing things, I think, really. That's what you need to do in this game. Right, that, that's one of the glowing crystals that I saw in the cave, wasn't it? And that is going to be the bone that we need. Right. Ah, so the crystal goes there, does it? I see. Uh, yeah, perfect. Goodbye, darkness. Hello, bone. Yep, there's the leg and the foot. And, yeah, that's kind of all she wrote for this section. Yeah, we found all the skeleton pieces and all the runestones that we need to find. Wait. Do we do something with that bucket? Is there something in the... Oh. Uh, no! Uh, shit! Shit! Uh, well, I didn't mean to uh, slip down here, really, because there may have been something else up in that corner, but... Let's go down and maybe back up around. I don't know. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Alright, yep. I'm fairly sure there is full damage in this, right? That's gonna go, yeah, off the edge. <laughs> Somewhat predictable. Right. Uh, okay. 
Oh, I know where I am. Yeah, okay. I don't remember there being a... A bucket there. Alright, hang on. Is this the best idea? I just want to read the note, to be honest. No, read the note. Don't eat the apple. Can... <laughs> ha! They're poisoned. Right, well, I fell for that one. I just wanted to get to the note, though. Oh, well, this isn't great. Um, I don't suppose there's anything I can do to remedy the situation. Maybe this is our way to section three, or... Oh shit. <laughs> right. Beaten to death with a bucket. Oh no, no, okay, so that was a genuine death. Yeah, okay, so don't eat the apples, ladies and gents. And you know what? I wanted to be here anyway, so yeah, what was what was up around here? Ah, there is a note, right. So I was gonna miss something. Ruin. I found an odd ruin which offers some clues as to the events which transpired here. The territory around it's littered with dangerous traps, and now I know why. It appears to be a place of sacrifice. Despite all my years of experience, I have to wonder how this kind of ancient place has remained unknown to us for so long. Whilst exploring the region, I haven't found any indications that the sacrificial ritual was connected with any particular religion or satanic following, which makes the purpose of the sacrifice itself even more obscure and enigmatic. My experience investigating cults and zealous fanatics has consistently found a pattern of erratic disorganization, with followers living poorly and hierarchy fragile. In contrast, this one seems to have been somewhat stable, which I believe is why they were able to remain self-sufficient and secluded. The clan's framework suggests that the followers were not recruited, but indoctrinated from birth, with perhaps no experience or even knowledge of the outside world, creating strong bonds and familial ties between members. Despite this place's sinister feel, the mystery of these people carries me along, and deep within me. I wonder if I might uncover something more than just the history of events that have taken place here. When I finish this investigation, my legacy will be forever remembered in history as the researcher who uncovered the secrets from such an arcane place. Right. And, uh, yeah. A few amenities up here. A, a fairly decent view, I suppose. But that's about it. Right. Yeah, right. Well, let's head down, and this time, let's not eat the apples. Because I don't really care about the note anymore. <laughs> what about here? Is that another way down, or...? Well, I suppose it is. A much quicker one. Right. Okay. I feel like I've been duped. Because <laughs> I was, really. But man, I don't usually fall for that kind of shit. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to leave that bucket right where it is. Yeah, it's just a sound effect. <laughs> I know that now. Alright, so... Uh, ah, right. Well, there is that one area that we haven't really been to. Ah, and I think now that I've found all the body parts and the runestone and everything, yeah. No more fog, no more black mist. Right. Another save point, I think? Yeah, I think it must be. Hello? Wait, in the opening cutscene, didn't I see a bear? Is it the same bear? Right. Well, let's see. Uh, a sweet bear. Soft, cute, friendly. And it likes to disappear, apparently. Right, well... Oh no, I've still... <laughs> I've still got him. He just doesn't like to stick around for too long. Right. You'd think that we'd be moving on to another section fairly soon, seeing as there's nothing to find around here. Oh, I don't know. Maybe there is. What's over here? 
a nice overview into where we're going. Not much else. Hmm, okay. Why? Why are you panicking? Just calm down, calm down. It's fine, it's fine. No one's looking at you. Pretend you didn't see that thing you saw. Right, yeah. Somewhere else to save, so might as well use it. Yeah, it, I, I don't know how I feel about this game, really. I quite like it, but I don't really know why. I quite like the exploration of the forest, I suppose. Some of the jump scares are pretty cool. I am somewhat unnerved quite a lot of the time. And I guess chasing this, this deer is interesting. But yeah, it's just a bit of a weird one. <gasps> I was expecting the bridges to do that, not this. Oh, <laughs> right. Are you coming down, or...? That wasn't another death, right? I couldn't... I couldn't really have seen that coming. Okay. <gasps> Are you holding the bear, or was the bear just sort of checking up on you? Of its own volition. <laughs> I'm not sure, I didn't see any hand holding it. Right. Okay. Again, I assume I wake in, yeah, a new section. No more bones to find, but there's two of these rune stones. So, okay. They might be slightly harder to find, I'm not sure. So it came from that way, I think, so yeah. Let's just keep on following that deer. And that bear. Alright. Ah. Where did it go? Come back. <laughs> I'm not done with you! There's a note over there at the very least, right? Yeah, what did I what did I just skip? Because obviously wasn't meant to jump over there. Is that a oh, fucking bear trap? With a bone, but it's not the bone I'm after. Alright, oh, ah yeah, we're looking down on the scarecrow who's actually still trying to cook that sausage. Good luck to him. It's probably overdone by now. Right, so yeah, back round. So, again, I'm just going to be looking at the floor trying to avoid bear traps, I guess, this time. Another tire. Right, yeah, um, I know I can jump pretty high, but I think that's maybe a little bit too much for me. Let's just drop down and go around. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, it seems like there's at least one building in every section. Right, let's go around and let's have a look at this note. And then I guess I'll maybe see if I can find a save point and wrap this up. I will save her. The situation in the settlement has become worse. I've decided that the time to act resolutely has come. For her sake. For Sarah. In the nearest day, I will take her from the settlement and go as fast as possible from here. Then I'm going to find a good place for her where she will be able to start a new life. Not this sorry existence around these crazy people, the most dangerous person being her father. Yes, it sounds crazy, like I'm a child abductor, but how can I raise a child with my wife when I can't even help Sarah? Sarah has always personified hope for me. She helped me to not ruin my life. Now it's my turn to fight for her happiness. Only when she is saved, I can live for myself and my family. I'll never stop until I save her. Ah, huh. okay. Is that... Okay, it's actually a working save point. Fantastic. Okay, well, I guess we'll continue with Section 3 next time, in Part 3. See you then. Oh! Sh <gasps> yes! <laughs>
bitch game. Cool, cool, yeah. Right. Up there. Fuck shit. How's it hanging? Ha! Right. I thought we were gonna have some sort of Indiana Jones scenario then with a barrel instead of a boulder. Always a little bit worrying when it saves automatically. <laughs> Something. Oh, yep, yeah, hello. At it again, are you? How long can you hold your breath? You <laughs> I guess you want to find out. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That fucking Indiana Jones situation. Uh, no! Uh, shit! <coughs> no, read the note. Don't eat the apple. Can. <laughs> ha! Huh. A sweet bear. Soft, cute, friendly. And it likes to disappear, apparently. Alright. Ah, yeah, we're looking down on the scarecrow who's actually still trying to cook that sausage. Good luck to him. <laughs>